Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to decode a JWT token. So Java web token decoding. I am open the chain meter, added a little group, enter group, add a sampler, bean shell sampler or JSR 23 sampler. So I am adding JSR 23 sampler here and uh, selecting language as Java. So now uh, we have a code in taskincomplete.com decode JWT token in JMeter uh, which is designed by us. So I'm taking a reference of that our own website and uh, showcasing in your video. So this is I copied all my content here. Okay, so this is uh, JWT token and I'm using a uh, jot or I'm using another variable. Yeah, I'm using a variable in third group and I will create a variable jot token jot underscore token token and I'm pasting the value here paste in the jot value or we we'll take another value from the online from online we'll take temporary jot token from the online so we'll take this is a, a token value so we'll have one more total here uh, name of okay, we have already name so email we'll add email column double code uh, so we'll use abc.com enter it abc okay so this is our uh, uh, new jaw token i'm taking this new jaw token here so copy this new jaw token so you have copied jaw new jaw token and match dot it it's a it is a, this is a variable we are using so i'm using the my i'm renaming my variable because uh, this is a code which i'm using to uh, decode my jaw token so from here i'm getting the variable to the uh, from JMeter to my bean shell sampler, so JSA two three sampler variable response. Then I am doing a uh, required uh, validation and required conversions here. So finally, you will get the decoded uh, value in line number nine, and the decoded decoded value will be saved in uh, B underscore ID token, and it will log in our console. And I am adding a debug sampler here as well debug sample to see the value what we got okay i'm adding listener url stream and run it don't want to save the file this time i'm running it so it was executed successfully and we have debug sampler go to the request response so this is your uh, jaw token and this is this is our uh, decrypted uh, decrypted uh, json response so we have added the email as abcea.com and we got the same thing abcac abcac.com abcac.com so it works for all the jot tokens but the jot token will have a three property that we need to identify that so with there your jot token is having the three dots to the first part to the second part so two dots so this is a header this is a header and this will be your uh, payload and this will be your signature. This will be a signature. The uh, second dot of the string after the second dot will be a signature. Uh, string before the first dot will be the header. Uh, in between the second and third dots will be your actual post content. So as per the developers, they will change the algorithms here and the types, uh, different types of algorithms. So uh, even if we have any algorithm, we can uh, decode it the value and make use of the JWT token here dot token in a with our uh, uh, code okay so now you go on this all the response so if you want now uh, we have the content of uh, b underscore id token in our uh, jmeter variable so if you want to do or if you want to pull any of this variable any of the value from your variable so you can add uh, you can add post processor here add post processor a json extractor and using json extractor from json extractor uh, you put uh, take the variable name, put your variable here, put your variable here, add your uh, uh, name here, 
uh, I'm taking email. So email, email uh, JSON path. So it should be dot dot email. That should be a dot 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 email and first occurrence NA. So take this path uh, and we'll see. Uh, I'm running again. Yeah, we got email abcabc.com. So we are using JSON extractor for, from a variable. There is in JSON extractor to extract the variable from an already existing JMeter variable. So you are uh, adding, you are doing, you are extracting the content content from already existing JMeter variable. So JMeter given another feature of getting the value from another uh, inside JMeter variable. So we are making use of it. Okay, so this is how we use JWT token. Thanks for listening.